Well, I'm finally getting around to answering some of these letters here. Um, quite a few of them, as you can see here. And uh, I'm going to be spending a few days answering letters from people. So we'll take the one from the top here of the pile. Sorry to everybody out there that has written and asked questions. It's not always easy to get to these, especially as you know, people ask me, could you preach on this? Could you preach on that? And the Lord puts things in my mind as well to preach on and, uh, you know, corresponding with people and the whole thing and just being a father and a husband and, you know, the normal things in life. Um, so, this is from a confused viewer of Robert Breaker. God is not the author of confusion. So that tells you who uh, the one, the spirit behind Robert Breaker is really all about. It says here, hello, I have a question. So, so recently I got caught up in one of Robert Breaker's videos about Romans 10, 9 through 10, and unfortunately it has caused so much confusion for me. Yeah, Robert Breaker will do that to people. The problem starts in Romans chapter 10, verse 10. It says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Robert Breaker says, when you believe from the heart, you're already saved because you have the righteousness of Jesus Christ. But then he goes on to say in the rest of the verse where it says, and confession is made unto salvation, he will say, all that means is that you are confessing unto the fact that you have salvation. You're not confessing to get saved. In another video talking about the same subject, he goes on to say that if you are insisting that salvation is by your believing from the heart and confession, then you have a faith plus work set up because you're trusting in what Jesus did plus your confession. So the question is, do we believe and confess to get saved, or do we believe and confess because we are saved already? And if we believe and confess to get saved, is this confession a work? My hope is that you can make a video about this. I believe it would be helpful. Here's the video. Um, this system, it's not just Robert Breaker. There's other heretics online. They come up with this whole thing, prayer is a work. I answered this so many years ago. Ro uh, Martin Richling. Uh, he came out with this whole thing, prayer is a work. Um, I answered it back then. Prayer is not a work. Okay, that's nonsense. Um, I'll explain this whole thing here in a minute. But uh, Robert Breaker, uh, there's a bunch of others out there that uh, come up with this whole nonsense thing that you that prayer has nothing to do with it. It's it, What they're teaching is Gnosticism, that you envision yourself to be saved and then you're saved. You say, I believe the details of the Bible, so therefore, blink, I'm saved. Uh, no. The question is, do we believe and confess to get saved, or do we believe and confess because we are saved already? The answer is neither. Neither. Titus chapter 3. I'll give you the answer to it. Very simple. Extremely simple. Titus chapter 3, verse 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy. Key three words. He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Right there, highlighted in my Bible. He saved us. Do you, is it your belief that gets you saved or is it your confession that gets you saved? Neither one. What it is, is I look, look at this and I say, I believe what the Bible says, and I will confess with my mouth. I'll call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. Okay? Oh, oh nuts, there's a fire over here. Just hold on a second. So what are you doing? I believe that, nine, that, uh, that the fire department's on the way. Oh, man, that fire's getting worse. It's, it's okay, I just, I'll believe. Um, no. I have to believe that the fire department can come and put out my fire, but I also have to confess with my mouth. I have to call upon them, in other words. I have to call and say, I have a fire, please get here. Give the address and whatever else, you know, come. You get saved by calling out to God and saying, God, I believe what the Bible says. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I've heard the gospel preached to me by a saved man. Or a saved woman, saved sister in the Lord can lead somebody to the to the Lord Jesus Christ as well. Um, and I heard it, and I'm hearing it, I'm seeing it. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. God, would you please save me? It's that simple, <laughs> you know, not difficult. Um, 
Friends, if uh, you have a fire, there's a new system now, and the new system is that first of all you have to believe that you have a fire. Then you have to understand the details of the fire. You have to know um, how much temperature is in the fire, uh, what's the source of the fire, um, how toxic is the smoke. <laughs> No, no, I have a fire. Call 911. I have a sin problem. Call upon the Lord to be saved because the Bible says that's what I should do and Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sins. It's that simple. But you see, these heretics come along and they just mess around with the scriptures. The Bible warns about people that are, you know, taken away from the simplicity that is in Christ. It's a simple gospel. It's just so easy. Read Romans chapter 10. Anybody can understand that. Go through the Romans road to salvation. It's not difficult. You're a sinner. Jesus died for sinners. He died on the cross. He shed his blood. Okay? It's not that hard. So if you're coming to Robert Breaker and you're coming away confused like this person here that wrote this letter, um, stop listening to Robert Breaker. Robert Breaker that uh, had a video and then he took it down because I exposed him. Um, Robert Breaker that had a video literally saying that uh, Jesus committed suicide. He you know, took his own life or whatever. Uh, doesn't quite understand the gospel. Okay, um, Robert Breaker that says you have to put your faith in the blood of Jesus Christ then takes you to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which doesn't even say blood. All right, And it ta actually talks about believing in vain. Um, there's a lot of people that believe in vain. All right, uh, What's the problem? There's a lot of people that make a prayer in vain as well. What's the problem? They're not getting in touch with God. He saved us. Okay? It's that simple. Don't complicate it. All right? So to the writer of the letter here, thank you for your letter. Hopefully that, you know, you're not confused anymore on that whole thing. But um, that's why I warn about uh, Robert Breaker. He's you know, a very terrible false prophet. So that's going to be it for this video. And... Uh, some more letters to answer.